Hi, I'm Kurt Downsett. Since its introduction three years ago, Optifade Concealment Technology from W.L. Gore & Associates has changed the way hunters look at camouflage, namely by looking at concealment through the eyes of the prey animals whose detection they're trying to avoid, rather than with human vision. Now, concealment experts, textile designers, and animal vision scientists have collaborated to create the first scientifically designed concealment pattern, created around the way waterfowl view their environment. Join me as I take a look at what is literally a bird's eye view of the new Gore Optifade Concealment Marsh pattern on this episode of The Science of Nothing. For over three decades, the primary approach to concealment has been mimicry, and the most celebrated camouflage patterns have been those that most realistically depict traditional environments as humans see them. To get a better sense of the difficulties waterfowl hunters have in disguising themselves in the field, I spoke with avid waterfowl hunter Braden Smith. With all these different environments, how many different sets of camouflage do you have for this? I have an entire closet of camouflage. Really? There, I have at least at least a dozen patterns. And do you ever find it uh, difficult grabbing one set of camouflage to go out and then ending up somewhere different? It's frustrating. Is it? Ha yeah. Has that happened to you oh, very yeah. often? Many really? times. As you can see, many hunters think mimicry patterns are the only option in the field. But let's take a more realistic and scientific look at how waterfowl actually process the world visually. As Gore began exploring the development of a waterfowl specific concealment pattern, they started at square one, scientifically. As we've examined in previous episodes of The Science of Nothing, the function of eyesight has evolved in dramatically different ways in various classes, orders, and species of animals. Biologists have studied the construction of eyes and the function of sight in virtually every catalog species. The location of the ocular cavities and the shape of the eyeballs on most species of waterfowl indicates that they have an incredibly wide view of the world, likely over 300 degrees. As in all classes of animals with such wide fields of view, scientists believe that the visual acuity of waterfowl is diminished somewhat. Through careful dissection and examination, scientists know that the eyes of waterfowl contain a fourth receptor that humans do not have. This receptor perceives additional colors in the blue spectrum, likely into the ultraviolet range. Since humans are unable to perceive this spectrum of light, it is difficult to simulate for our eyesight, but not impossible to address when designing concealment systems. In order to understand more about the Gore Optifade Marsh pattern, Guy Kramer explains the science behind its development. The Gore Optifade Open Country pattern was designed for a horizontal environment. Optifade Forest pattern was designed as the ungulate is actually looking up into the forest. With the Gore Optifade Waterfowl pattern, we're not only looking at an entirely different angle of attack, we're looking at an entirely different species altogether. In doing so, we've got to look at how the brain of the waterfowl perceives a pattern, how the eyes focus in on the pattern, and how the contrast sensitivity of the pattern relates to the bird in flight. So in the case of uh, the Gore Optifade Waterfowl pattern, we've actually had to focus more on the micro pattern because birds are very sensitive to details out there. And so as the bird starts to focus in on what it may perceive as an anomaly out there, it will actually perceive that level of detail and start to ignore what it's seeing as background noise. An additional aspect that had to be addressed by Gore's team of scientists was motion. Unlike humans or ungulates that can essentially stand motionless and carefully examine their surroundings, approaching waterfowl are in constant motion. We've also put in these uh, swirly effects to simulate some of the blurriness that a waterfowl is going to see on an angle flying ahead because their eyes don't move the same way that animals and human eyes move. Finally, scientists consider the angle of engagement between waterfowl and waterfowl hunters. In the stores you see these patterns that have been designed by artists from the level of an animal on the ground looking across a field. And that's not how the bird perceives the background environment. Rather than the bird coming down on an angle of attack, we have to incorporate the different color regions and the increased contrast element into the pattern so that the shadows appear natural to the bird on the overhead view that they would have coming into the hunter. W.L. Gore & Associates revolutionized concealment technology by being the first to approach the subject scientifically and from the perspective of prey animal vision. 
Gore Optifade Marsh is further evidence of Gore's commitment to species-specific concealment. With this latest concealment pattern, ducks and geese may have seen the last of hunters, but rest assured, hunters haven't seen the last from Gore Optifade. I'm your host, Kurt Dowsett. Thanks for watching The Science of Nothing.